In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to add a chart to a custom pop-up window. <clears throat> so in this example, we're going to be working with the land parcels layer. And to bring up the configure pop-up dialog, I want to right click on land parcels and select configure pop-ups. <clears throat> that displays a configure pop-ups pane for land parcels. And you can see across the top of the pane, I've got a number of buttons here that represent the different types of content elements that I can add to my custom pop-up. Now by default, it's automatically going to add a title and uh, whatever fields are associated with that layer uh, in this case. Of course, these can be edited. We're not gonna do that in this case, uh, but you can limit the amount of fields that you see as well. Now to add a new content item to uh, your custom pop-up window, you simply click the button for, which, for the content type, type that you wanna add. Here we're focusing in on charts, so I'll click on chart. You can see that adds a new chart element to my content area. Uh, if you click the little pencil icon, this allows you to edit the pop-up element. And that takes me to my chart options. Let's expand this a little bit. <clears throat> now you've got multiple options here in terms of type. Uh, the default is going to be a column chart, but you can also create line charts, pie charts, and bar charts. Uh, in this case, we're going to keep it pretty simple. We're just going to create a pie chart. Um, you can add a title and a caption. We'll do that in just a moment. Down at the bottom, you see the fields that can be associated with the chart. And for this particular pie chart, what we're going to do is we're going to take two fields. There's a land value field and an improvement value field. Now, if we look at the content for uh, those particular fields, just kind of scroll over a bit here. You'll see that we have land value and we have improvement value. Land value represents the value of the parcel itself, just the land. The improvement value uh, represents any improvements that have been made to the land. So typically a house that you may have added uh, to the land. Those two should equal the market value. But what we want to do in this particular case is we want to add a chart to our pop-up window, um, a pie chart that displays uh, the land value and the improvement value. So I'll select on land value and improvement value. I'll add a chart title. We'll just call this land and if I could type that would help. Improvement values. And this is for Bell County, Texas. So we'll add that as our caption. Now you'll also notice that you have other options here in terms of styling. You can change your font style, font size, or font, font, uh, font type, font size, font styling. You can change the text color, background color. Uh, so there's a lot you can do here. We're not gonna go into any detail here on the styling, but you do have the ability to style things like your title, your caption, as well as the, uh, the values for these fields. But we're gonna keep it pretty simple here, and these are all the changes that we'll make. Um, so at this point to save the changes, and we're not going to normalize either, you know, no need to really normalize our data here. And then, uh, so when we, uh, to save this, we'll click the back button. Uh, that essentially saves the changes that we have implemented. And now if I do an identify on one of the land parcels, you'll see that it brings up uh, the feature that was identified along with uh, the individual field values. And then at the bottom, we should see the chart. So here's my title, there's my caption, and then here's the chart itself. Now, if you look at the fields, of course, you can kind of get a sense for uh, uh, what, you know, which of these is which, uh, land value versus uh, improvement value. There's your land value. There's your improvement value. Obviously, the improvement value is larger. So that represents the 88%. The land value represents the 12%. All right, so hopefully you got a good overview here of uh, adding charts to your custom pop-up windows. Uh, and that's it for now. Thank you for joining me.